Now you tell me, does this five second clip captivate you as a founder story opening? I'm shocked that this new company out with the new line of shell stable plant based dry bombs. And I'm I'm shocked by for a second. Consumers are asking for it. Now that probably didn't captivate you, but check out this clip and see if this one does. When I was 17 years old, my dad passed away from complications related to his diabetes, which in his case was a totally diet related and preventable disease. That was a time in my life. So this is the transformation story of Sarah Rue, founder of Ladybird Provisions Coffee Bombs. In between that first clip and that second clip was three intensive weeks of working with Sarah on her story, on her pitch, on her delivery. When you, that first clip, you saw her, she was looking at her notes, she memorized every word, and it wasn't dynamic, and it was kind of low, monotone, you could barely hear it. So we worked on her, making sure that she understood her story, how powerful it was, she's speaking from the heart, she's standing up, and she's super proud about it. Second thing we did was worked on some of the credibility issues. I discovered that she had sold over a million coffee bombs since they had launched the business. That's huge. So that gave her confidence. It gave credibility for the company. And we used that as part of her story. And then we worked on making sure she didn't have to memorize everything. And I use this technique called one slide at a time. So rather than trying to memorize your entire story or memorize all the slides in your presentation, I'm like, let's just take it one slide at a time. And it literally, it comes down to a bullet point for each slide. And then you just talk about that bullet point because this is your business. Nobody knows your business better than you do. So you take one element, what's unique about it. And then you speak from the heart about that. You speak to your accomplishments, everything you've done, why it's so good, why your customers love you, how you're going to dominate the market and how you're going to be differentiated from everybody else that's out there. So use whatever technique, method, process, invest in your story so that it becomes more compelling, more dynamic, and you're captivating audiences to invest, buy from you, or write about your business. I've got so many more videos on nailing your story. Check them all out.